Tales. When I woke up this morning, I saw a cryptic tweet from Tati, which I'm going to be getting into in a little bit. And when I saw it, I had a feeling that she was going to finally be addressing her side of the story with James Charles. I've been covering this drama from beginning to end, and I will leave links to all the videos that I did down below for you to check out. Anyway, I'm going to give a recap of everything that happened, and then I'll talk about her video. It all started on April 22nd when James uploaded this shady ad for the brand Sugar Bear Hair, who is the number one competitor for Tati's company, Halo Beauty. I also want to give a quick shout out to Sugar Bear Hair. I met their team weekend one at Coachella and they really helped me and my friends out with sister security because it was crazy. Um, you guys probably already know about their iconic hair vitamins, but they just came out with brand new vegan sleep vitamins. And first of all, taste so bomb but most importantly i've been dealing with a lot of anxiety recently and it always comes late at night when i'm laying in bed thinking which is not fun or fresh um so i've been taking these 30 minutes before bed and they've been really really helping so if you guys want to check them out you can swipe up a few hours after that, Tati uploaded an Instagram story where she was crying and talking about helping her friends and being hurt when they betray her and don't show the same loyalty. I'm going to just play clips from it, so here it is. And through this whole journey of YouTube, I feel like I have been someone who's been super supportive to my friends. And it's been really crap to feel like, not that you should do things to get support, but like, you know, should support one another it, that's how it should be and you know I just I'm having one of those days where it's like smacked in my face of what's what and having to take a look at things and realize what they are and not wanting to realize what they are when you do so much for people in your life and they not only don't return the favor but they just don't even see you <laughs> Like, I, I get it. I fucking get it. I'm just so upset. I feel really used. Everybody says what they need to say and, and uses who they need to use to get ahead. And I have had about enough. I've had about enough. It's not right. It wasn't long before people put two and two together to figure out that Tati was talking about James Charles. Nick Snyder from The Viewer's Voice, a drama channel, was the first one to clock it. Fans of both influencers were upset because not only was James sneaky with properly disclosing on the IG story that it was a paid ad, this was seen as an act of betrayal since he took a paid promotion with Sugar Bear Hair. And in case you're wondering how he was being sneaky about it, he placed it in the upper left corner right under his profile picture and shrunk the text to make it easy to miss, intentionally making it show on a white background. Anyway, James confirmed later that evening that it was in fact about Tati in this Instagram story apology to her here. FYI, I read this in one of my previous videos, so I apologize in advance for the mispronunciation of Tati's name. The apology reads as follows, I want to publicly apologize to my close friend Tati. She has been like a mother to me since my first days in this industry and has given me more love, support, resources, and advice that I could ever ask for. This weekend I did an Instagram story for sleep vitamins that I've been taking because the brand helped me with security when the crowd around me at Coachella became unsafe. I did not accept any money for the post. As most of you know, Tati has a vitamin brand which I take on a daily basis, but in a moment I did not not think about the competition, which was a major oversight. I've supported Tati online and off like she has done for me and I am devastated that I hurt someone that I truly love and have endless respect for. As a result of the drama between Tati and James, many suspected that there was also drama brewing between James and Jeffree Star. Because ever since then, Jeffree's been sending out cryptic tweets such as the one right here after James posted his apology. The tweet reads, the truth always tastes better than a lie, and added a teacup emoji. When I saw that tweet, I knew it was about James, since when James promoted sugar bear hair, he spoke about how amazing the vitamins tasted. As I said earlier, Tati has been mostly quiet about everything aside from these two tweets which she sent out on April 25th. Tati said, focus on growing the strength and beauty of your soul. Growth is not about how many subs, money, or things that you have. In the end, all you take with you from this earth is you. When you figure that out, that's growth. I've learned along the way that to be a kind person, you have to be a kind person. We don't get to title ourselves, our actions do that for us. And as a side note, Jeffree Star did like both of these tweets. 
Two days later, on April 27th, Tati retweeted Shane Dawson, who tweeted out screenshots from an upcoming collab he is doing with Tati, along with a heartfelt note to her, and this is what Tati said. When someone truly and effortlessly gets you and you get them, it's the most valuable thing. Shortly before Tati retweeted Shane, Jeffrey responded to Shane and said this, I love you guys so much, so happy we all found each other. In one of Tati's recent videos, I suspected that she took a jab at James Charles in this clip where her husband, also named James, brought in their dog to see her in her studio while she was recording a video. He then asked her if she needed anything and she responded and said, some new friends. Hi. Look, did you get it back? Oh my gosh, let me give you a big bronze hug. Come here. Look at that story, guys. He got like cut up, dude. You're better now, right? Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. Thank you so much. No. No. Some new friends, man. Some new friends, man. Some new friends, man. Some new friends, man. And on May 6th, James Charles violated everyone's eyeballs when he showed up to the Met Gala in a rather hideous outfit because he looked like he was still stuck at Coachella. The same day as the Met Gala, Jeffrey sent out these two tweets. Who else has a draft folder full of tweets they wish they could send out? I want to keep it so real sometimes about behind the scenes in the beauty community, but I'll let karma do its work like it always does. If you thought 2018 was crazy, get ready for the rest of 2019. And the very next day when the controversy over James's outfit to the Met Gala was going strong, Jeffrey sent out this tweet. It was an outfit of him wearing something very high fashion and looking rather extravagant. Despite my feelings on Jeffrey, I think he looks quite beautiful in this photo, and I do think he would have been a much better fit at Met Gala than James Charles, but whatever. He captioned this tweet as, see you next Tuesday, Gala, and just look at the initials of those words because I'm not going to say it out loud since YouTube is really stupid with censorship and demonetizing videos, but anyway. And then just yesterday, he threw the shade of all shade at James for his tour ticket prices and said this, Michigan, Morphe brushes meet and greet. I'm going to be meeting hundreds of people for free this Saturday. If you don't win to meet me, come celebrate anyway. We will be giving away brush kits, free makeup, and having a huge party. Now that you have an understanding of what happened between James and Tati, here's her side of the story. As I mentioned earlier, I saw a tweet from her which she sent out last night that says, Can't sleep, new video in the morning. She attached a photo to the tweet which reads, You can't forget and call that healing. One doesn't leap over the fire and name that strength. When I saw this tweet, I had a gut feeling that she would be talking about James and their drama in her newest video, and I was right. I will not be adding any clips from her video which she titled, Bye Sister, because I don't want to take anything away from her, so I highly encourage you all to go watch her video in its entirety because she spilled some serious tea. And many of us were right, it wasn't just about the gummy bears or the vitamins. The caption reads, this is the hardest video I've ever had to make. Please try to watch the entire video before commenting. If you must comment, please keep it respectful. And now here's where I give my thoughts on her video. Okay, first of all, I had to watch this video twice, and when I watched the video each time, I had to keep backing up to watch clips to make sure that I was hearing everything right, because she spilled a lot of shocking tea. As many of us gathered from her initial Instagram story where she was crying about James, it was a lot more than vitamins, and there has been some stuff brewing behind the scenes for quite some time. I mean, the video is about 45 minutes long. She does divulged a lot of information about how he was rude to her, took her for granted, put money over friendships, and was just basically a really bad friend to her, and she had had enough, like she said in her Instagram story. She also pointed out something about why Gabby involved himself. That's because James vented to Gabby and, of course, likely put out a one-sided story, and Gabby got upset and went on the camera, on Snapchat, and on his YouTube video to defend a friend. 
Now, I get defending a friend. I would defend a friend, too. But the way that he did it was just so terrible and made him look so bad. She also talked about how other people in the industry warned her to avoid James, especially during his Ebola scandal in 2017, where he lost his cover girl contract. Because, as you know, he was the first cover boy in 2017, but that came to a stop after all that. People warned Toddy that he was toxic and she still believed in James and stayed friends with him and that says a lot about someone because you know there's people that I've been warned about countless times and told to stay away from and to avoid at all costs and that I'd be dodging a bullet if I just cut them off and I just wouldn't but sadly in the end things ended badly and they were right all along. She also went into about how he was dragging sugar bear hair and dragging influencers for promoting them and then taking on sponsorships with them but then how she got upset when James flipped the script and turned around and did the same thing when he took a sponsorship for Sugar Bear Hair. She more or less confirmed that he was lying about the whole security excuse where he tried to do damage control by saying that Sugar Bear Hair provided him with security and that he promoted Sugar Bear Hair in exchange for them providing security for him. Tati also brought up a rather upsetting situation where she had her Halo Beauty launch party and James of course was there and there was a waiter there and James wanted to do something Thing, I'm gonna leave it at that. You can go watch the video. I don't want to spoil that and I don't want to talk about that either because it's just really disgusting what she said that happened. But she talked about how she put him on and helped him get on his feet and how he really owes her husband James an apology for taking on the Sugar Bear Hair sponsorship and how he never even apologized to James to begin with in that Instagram apology. Don't forget Tati's husband is the other half of Halo Beauty. So yeah James definitely owed him an apology. She also alluded to the fact that the apology that James put up made things worse because he didn't even name her brand. He just said that she has a vitamin company and that Tati knows how exclusivity contracts work and that James does in fact have a sponsorship 